obviously hydro pump we would not want to see that but i'm taking the chance that they have ice beam play rough it is a hydro pump scrafty comes back in gonna throw this thunderbolt and electrode is going to roll its way to the victory here for us What is going on everybody welcome back to the channel if you're new here we do upload pokemon gold content related to pvp so please consider subscribing to the channel if that is of interest to you and if you're a returning subscriber like dan h thank you for the support in today's video we're going to be taking a look at one of my all-time favorite pokemon in the main series games and that is electrode obviously not as good in pokemon go because it's so glassy definitely brings me back some nostalgia pretty sure i have an electrode pokemon card actually actually i should take a look if i do okay so just as i thought i do have the electrode card here as you can see uh, this is from the jungle set so not the base set card this is the holographic one because i remember the base set had like the rainbow thing around it where it wasn't it didn't come in a holographic version but let's get back into the video we're testing out a team today using electrode against some rank 10 players and uh technically electrode is in a sense trying to gatekeep in these matches so let's get into the first battle right now all right so we got a bit of a different backdrop here today we'll get back to the normal one tomorrow first match up here against alpha Phoebe and we are going up against the Mew lead. Whenever I see Mew in the lead, I'm assuming they're running the Asian Milkman team. So that Mew is going to have Surf and Wild Charge. And typically in the back, there is going to be Skarmory and Scrafty. So at this point, I can't really switch out into Zuma, which is kind of my safe switch here because Mew has Wild Charge. So I'm just looking to bait with the Bone Club, hoping to get the shield. And if I do, I'm going to use my second shield then and then throw the Shadow Ball the second time. So we should go into a zero shield situation for the rest of the match after this lead match is done. He should win this lead of course because Mew is going to beat us to the surfs before I could get to enough shadow balls. So I do go for the shadow ball here, gets the second shield and opponent is going to throw surf. This is going to knock us out. At this point I have to consider what I'm going to do next. I can't really bring in a zoom roll because wild charge with no shields is kind of committing suicide. So I am forced to bring in electrode. And my thinking here is that I'm gonna have to tank a charge move. I should be able to survive it. And then I'm gonna look to bank that energy and pray to catch the charge move with the Azumarill. So here comes the first surf. You can see Electro cannot tank hits. Trying to farm up here. And now I'm gonna go for the switch. We catch a charge move. Is it going to be surf? Because this is pretty much what the game depends on. It is a surf. Opponent switches out into Skarmory. So at this point, what I'm looking to do is to hit the hydro pump i'm realistically not going to get to two charge moves so i'm only gonna be able to throw one i'm gonna throw the hydro pump put this skarmory in the range where i could farm down with the electrode and hopefully have enough energy for two thunderbolts which should be enough to knock out the scrafty if that is the pokemon in the back now if you have something that hard counters electrode like a uh, it's galarian stunfisk it's pretty much game over but you have to take your chances here Skarmory is very low. We should be able to farm down before it gets to another sky attack. We are. So we have a huge energy lead now on whatever the third Pokemon is. He still has that Mew with no health to possibly take a sack swap. Scrafty comes in. I'm going to throw the Thunderbolts here. And I believe I have a second charge move ready. So you can see that does more than 50% damage. Mew comes in. We don't throw the charge room. Scrafty comes back in. Going to throw this Thunderbolt. And Electrode is going to roll its way to the victory here for us. Could have went for self-destruct there if this was the OG games. And we would have ended up losing actually. It would have been a draw. No, well, well hmm. could have won. No, we would have lost because our last Pokemon. Anyway, that's irrelevant. Uh, next match against William Yon against Skarmory here. And this is a pretty good lead for us. And you're going to see in this particular set, I caught a lot of good leads. So, point switch on to zoom roll. I'm going to bring in Electrode here. At this point, I believe this should only be an Ice Beam because I believe it was only about five bubbles. So, we do take the Ice Beam. You can see it does so much damage still. I'm actually going to go for the Thunderbolt here. This will knock out the Azumarill. And let's see if the opponent chooses to shield. They do. So, at this point, I realize that they're very close to charge if they want to get it off. So, I'm going to have to shield this. And I think at this point, we could actually consider going for the Foul Play and then farming down with Volt Switch, but that's going to be very, very close. So I go for the Foul Play here. Let's see if we get the second shield. I don't think this is going to KO, actually. It does not, but we're able to farm down with Volt Switch, so we have a lot of energy here. Gonna throw this Thunderbolt at whatever comes in. Happens to be a Machamp. 
So definitely expecting a shield here. We do get the shield. And we're up a shield here. Machamp is in. We're going to bring in a Zoomerill. Opponent switches out into Skarmory. I'm going to bring back in the Marowak here. We could definitely tank whatever this is. And I'm going to over farm a little bit and then throw the Shadow Wall. So I guess I didn't over farm. I think I should have over farmed there a little bit. And then threw the Shadow Wall, but it's okay. Well, I guess Shadow Ball doesn't KO anyway, so I'm going to have to technically over farm here regardless. So, uh, yeah, actually, it played out fine there. Um, my champ's going to come in, and this Shadow Ball is going to do a lot of damage here. Is this going to be enough to one shot my champ? It is, wow. Okay, so my champ gets one shot by the Alolan Marowak Shadow Ball there. And in that match, we just pretty much hard countered the team. So, good stuff. Zin Rock in match number three. Lena Registill, you can see again another amazing lead for Alolan Marowak. So opponent's going to switch out into Altaria. I'm going to bring in the Azumarill here. Now we're not running Ice Beam, but Play Rough is still going to do some super effective damage to Altaria. But not as much as an Ice Beam would do. But still a very positive situation for us to be in, obviously. Opponent's going to throw the Sky Attack. And we are going to build up here, over farm a little bit, and throw the Play Rough now. Uh, opponent might be expecting an Ice Beam anyways, but they do shield which was a little surprising to me at the time. Sky Attack definitely is not going to knock us out here, so I don't have to necessarily shield this. I'm gonna let it go through. You can see Dragon Breath isn't doing anything to us. I'm gonna throw the play rough once again. And it'll be interesting to see what the opponent does this time. They choose to use their second shield. And that really caught me off guard a little bit. Uh, he switches out into Tropius now with Razor Leaf. Fortunately, we were able to exit with while banking that play rough, so that was a very close call. We're up two shields now. Uh, because this is a Razor Leaf Trophy, it's actually a much more dominant position for us to be in in regards to uh, our shield usage. So I'm going to probably let this go through because it's not going to do anything. It's an Aerial Ace, and I believe we could farm down at this point, which we are going to do. And we have a Shadow Ball ready for whatever comes in here. It is the Altaria, so I'm going to throw this Shadow Ball, and we are likely going to get farmed down by the Altaria, I'd imagine now. And nope, the Altaria is going to throw, so that was probably a CMP tie there. And opponent probably did not want to throw the Sky Attack had we thrown our move first. And at this point, I think we've come in with the Azumarill, throw the Play Rough that we banked. You can see there we literally have like 1 HP. And this is going to come down to Electrode versus Registeel. Two shields to zero. Can the big boy roll his way to a win here? You can see Registeel is kind of spammy here, to be honest. It's probably going to be a Flash Cannon. Oh, it's a Focus Blast going for the nuke right away. I'm happy to see that because it's going to cost more energy for the opponent to throw that. Building up for two Thunderbolts here. Going to throw this first one. How much damage is this going to do to the Registeel? Quite a bit. That was about 30% uh, it looks like. Going to shield up this. I don't know if this KOs or not, but got to shield this up. I am not losing. With a Flash Cannon definitely would not KO. But Focus Blast, I feel like it probably would. Electrode is super glassy. Gonna throw the Thunderbolt. Big boy damage there. We take the game. Electrode. Gatekeeping these rank 9s here. Kind of feel bad about it in a way, but at the same time, um, it is what it is. You know, you gotta, you gotta play it out. Marowak into another Skarmory lead. <laughs> this, this is probably the luckiest I've ever been with a Marowak lead of all things. Opponent switched out into a Zoomerill again, so I'm gonna bring in the Electrode once more. And recently, everybody's been shielding the first move, so I decided to go for foul play, expecting to get the shield there. And to my surprise, no shield. So that puts us actually in a pretty bad situation here. And at this time, I had only counted six bubbles, so I assumed there's no way for a hydro pump, but apparently they did get to a hydro pump there. So a big error on my part, and I didn't know hydro pump's gonna do that much damage to Electrode. And you can see we also did not get the foul play off, which was a huge blow to us, because we could have probably got a shield maybe. So we're in a really tough spot now. Uh, gave up switch advantage in a very dominant position. Fortunately, we do have our own Azumarill to come in here with. And I'm going to throw the play rough. And hopefully this KOs the opposing Azumarill because I don't want to take any damage here. It does. Opponent's going to come back in with Skarmory. And I'm going to look to throw the Hydro Pump. Okay. I guess I would expect the shield here. I mean, they have two. Yeah, they do shield. And come back in with the Marowak. Gonna have to take this. This could even be a Brave Bird and a switch out possibly. It's only a Sky Attack, okay. Still does quite a bit of damage. 
Opponent switched out into Scrafty. This is a horrible position for us to be in here. Uh, Marowak literally cannot do anything in this situation. And these foul plays are going to hurt. Fortunately, we do have two shields. This could be a power-up punch bait, but don't want to take any chance. He did build up for the foul play, so I'm going to shield it up. I think Shadow Ball still does more damage here, to be honest, just because Bone Club is such a bad move. But I want to apply shield pressure, so that's why I'm going for the Bone Clubs here. Uh, Shadow Ball, I think, would KO in this range, actually, now, so... Might have made sense to just go for it. It's probably the only win condition. Uh, we do, fortunately, switch out into Azumarill to catch this likely foul play, which is actually huge for us. And... At this point in the game, I remember playing this out. I actually forgot that the opponent still had a shield. So I thought I could just build up for the Hydro Pump here and knock it out and then win the game. But I had totally forgotten that he actually did still have a shield. So even if I threw Play Rough, it wouldn't make much of a difference because I wouldn't get to two chargers anyway. So technically speaking, Hydro Pump is the correct move there. But he does get the shield, obviously, and he has energy ready. So there's no way we're going to win this game after that. And definitely uh, letting the Electro go down there in the matchup against the Azumarill was the deciding factor in this game. Definitely a game we could have won, but at least they went to a rank 9 who was fighting for rank 10, so I'm okay with that. Simon 2 is up next in match number 5 of this set, and we see a Stun Fist lead. So this is, this is an okay to bad lead, I'd consider. Um, obviously, we're doing some pretty good damage with our moves, but at the same time, we're taking super effective damage from pretty much everything the Galarian Stun Fisk has. So I'll have to shield this up because the Earthquake would pretty much knock us out. Rock Slide, we could definitely tank one, but don't want to risk getting hit by the Earthquake when we have so much energy. So I'm going to throw another Bone Club here, and the opponent is going to choose to burn a shield there. And at this point, this should only be a Rock Slide, so I should actually let this go, but I choose to shield. And I think that was a big mistake, but we should be able to win this match now because of using two shields. Unless they decide to shield there, of course. But uh, we are able to farm down because they let it go through. So they're going to bring in an Azumarill. I'm going to throw a Shadow Ball here. Uh, this is pretty good for us because both Electrode and our own Azumarill with Playoff are going to have a really good matchup here against the opposing Azumarill. So I like the position we're in. And we might even be able to get to a second Shadow Ball. We are. So this is going to do a lot of damage to this Azumarill. And they technically could farm down if they want, but they run the risk of getting hit by another Shadow Ball. I wouldn't have got to the Shadow Ball, but I definitely could have thrown a Bone Club there, which I would have done if they didn't throw here. Ice Beam's gonna come through. And at this point, well, the Azumarill has energy, but I think we should just come in here with Electrode. Bolt Switch down. Obviously, Hydro Pump, we would not want to see that, but I'm taking the chance that they have Ice Beam play rough. It is a Hydro Pump. Always seems to be Hydro Pump. I don't even think we could farm down here, to be honest, can we? Oh wow, we could farm down with Electrode. That is huge, because now we have so much energy stored. Deoxys comes in, uh, I should have thrown the foul play, I just threw this blindly of course, but upon further review after this match, I did find out that Thunderbolt and foul play are actually about the same energy efficiency, so it wasn't too bad. I know it sounds crazy, but I guess because it's not stab, uh, that's part of the reason why. So Thunderbolt works, um, Deoxys is going to hit us with his own Thunderbolt, and at this point we just kind of have to build up for the Hydro Pump. You can see that, that little lag there made me panic. And I threw play rough because I wasn't sure if the lag allowed him to get to another Thunderbolt already. So I just threw right away and we're able to bubble down. So we end up taking that game and we go 4-1 in, in this set. One of the final sets I played in Great League. And honestly, it was a lot of fun testing our Electro. A lot more fun than some of the stressful, sweaty matches in Ultra League I was having up until rank 10. So we dropped down from 3,000. That's fine. So that's the final video from Season 3 that I will be uploading. Very happy to have been able to use Electrode in a stress-free situation where I could pretty much just play for fun and it performed really well. Obviously we won a lot of leads there, but Electrode was a lot of fun. Has a very interesting moveset with Thunderbolt and Foul Play. Uh, it also has Discharge, but I like that Thunderbolt does more damage for slightly less energy, so went for that for more of a nuke potential. And I don't necessarily recommend using Electrode because it is very glassy and there are better options, especially in Season 4. 
something like Galvantula will probably perform a lot better than Electrode. But if you like running your favorite Pokemon or something and you just want to test out something that you really like, Electrode is a lot of fun. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, commenting, subscribing to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.